How you doing folks and welcome to another video with Piscari Fly. Today we're going to tie a very simple uh, micro glint perdigon. Uh, becoming really popular, a lot of guys tying them, a lot of guys fishing them. And as I said, it really doesn't get much simpler than this. So let's get cracking. To begin, I got a 302 size 14 Duhaku hook and device and I got a 3mm black countersunk tungsten bead. And what we're going to tie today is the golden olive micro glint plenty of different colors out there you'll see it all on our website check it out it's, it's pretty easy stuff to use and um it, it is very effective yeah it did it, they it, it make nice nymphs so quite simple going to start off with my micro glint there tie it on and just bring it down for the tail I'm going to take some cocktail on and add them in there just at the back of that. Is the adjust them there to your required length. Now when I'm tying paradigons, not only do I use a 302, which is a wet fly hook by the Haku, but I would also quite constantly use um 301s, the dry fly hook. They're a fine wire hook very sharp point and uh, when I'm fishing for small brown trout with very hard pallets that fine wire very sharp will penetrate quite easily into that hard pallet so um, when you're tying paradigans small little nymphs think about where you're going to be fishing and um, just got one or two of those turns there. Think about where you're fishing and uh, what hook is going to suit you best. So once I've tapered up my body, happy with my taper up there near the bead. I can then whip finish that. Just in there behind the bead. Give it a nice good tight pull to make sure it's well locked in there. Fine point scissors. Get right up inside there and just nick that off. To finish off this fly, we're going to put a little hot orange collar in it, and I'm using Tommy Fly UV Reflective number 14. Let's put a little collar up near the head. Like so. We've finished it off. And the best thing about these micro glints, there's such a, a variety of colours. And you can put in tags. You can just do a pure micro glint. You can use different colour beads. You know, you've got really a lot of options there um, to tie quite a selection of, um, of nymphs. So again, fine point scissors. Just nick that off. And I always just give that a little press there. Just your little tag ends in underneath to make sure everything's nice, neat and tidy. Finish off that fly, we're going to put on our resin. Now I always use the solar res. Solar res resin. It's, uh, this is the tin hard formula. Really good, find it fantastic. This is two ounce, two ounce bottle. Quite a lot in the bottle. Got a nozzle there for the top. Um, nice and clean. Easy dispensing. They come in a smaller bottle and in a smaller tube as well. Really good stuff, check it out if you're not on it. You can apply it, I apply it in several different ways. Uh, one, I can do it straight from the nozzle, apply it onto that. Secondly, I use a small little bead tray like this and I have a little paint, artist paintbrush or my trusty needle and um, can apply it through that depending on the fly, how big it is, how much resin I want on that, uh, what kind of a coating I want on it. I'll, I'll use different processes to, to apply that. For this one, I'm just going to use my needle. So just basically into my little bead tray, take a little dab of resin as much as you need and I find when you're using the likes of the bead the little bead holder and stuff it allows you to have a lot of control over your waist and stuff you're not having massive amounts of waste and just take your time and you can just put a nice layer on you can take some off with the needle as well as put it on as you're building up that taper on the fly and get a very controlled finish Now 
So once you're happy with that, give it a little shot of your laser paint. Harden it up. Now, as commonly seen on, on uh, Perdigons, you have this little black thorax spot on the, on the top of the bead and back onto the, to the, to the nymph. Yeah, it, it, it's, you know, some people use it, some people don't. It's up to yourself. Uh, I'm going to put a little small one here. Again, options would be um, you can use a black UV resin. But normally what I do is just a little marker. A little permanent marker, not a little bit of clear resin onto your needle. And then just recoat that whole area. And that's it, another blast of the torch. Doesn't get much simpler than that. And there you go. Micro glint, Perdigon nymph, catching a lot of fish at the moment. Quite simple to tie, and I say, you know, you can pick up a, quite a, a good selection of colors of micro glint. You can sit there and tie some, a pretty tasty box of, of nymphs, very quickly, very easily and uh, surely we'll catch a fish. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there everyone, and uh, see you soon.